Hey everybody, it's Becca J. Welcome back to my channel. Whew. Okay, today I am trying I Do Care. Um, it's this mini for the sugar kitten. I was at Ulta and I was looking at all of them and the big jars are like 20 something dollars for each individual big jar. And the lady that was helping me, she actually showed me the trio for only 20. So I was like, well, I'll try that before I just go buy in a bunch of big jars. And the trio has the Disco Kitten, Sugar Kitten, and Space Kitten. You know, and I was like, okay, it's okay to try these minis before you buy the big. That's how I feel, especially, you know, when people do videos, they're like, they get snobby about the minis. Oh, you're just trying a mini. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm a cheap bitch. That's how it works. I'm going to try the mini before I try the big. So we're going to test this out today because I have not tried it yet. I'm excited though. This one is Hydrating Holographic Peel-Off Mask. Um, there's no instructions on the packaging. So I did look it up on the Ulta site. said leave it on 20 to 30 minutes. Um, you know, T-zones. I'm going to probably put it all over avoid eyebrows and hairline and then you can peel it off it also suggests that you use a silicone brush i don't have one i've tried a couple of them i don't like them i like the synthetic brushes let me see like this one and this is actually an avon brush for foundation but i love it for masks it just i don't think it's going to work well with like the gel peel off type Anyway, so let's get into this. This is cute. Has a little winky face. I'm excited. When you open them, there is no safety protector. Try to make sure it doesn't leak out. I think it's supposed to smell like roses. I, I smell a little bit of that, but I'm also smelling like nail polish. It's really strong. Not super pleasant. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um, it looks like it's holographic maybe. Um, the main color is green. And then I see color shift of purple. Hopefully you can see some of that. So yeah, I don't have the brush. So I'm going to use my fingers today. It did say clean your face and your face should be dry. I'm not a fan of sticking my fingers in stuff and applying it. Wow, though, see my finger? That's really cool. I like color shifting stuff. This is going to be, this is going to take me a while because, yeah, I could see it would be definitely better with a brush because you want a thicker layer so that you can peel it off better. Let me, let me try my brush. You never know, it might work. The little girl's mad because the dog's in her space. So this brush is working decently. I can see where a silicone brush is better because this kind of absorbs a bit into the actual brush and it's making a mess and I'm not sure. That color shift is crazy cool though. You know, I'm not sure this brush is the most productive, but it's faster than my finger. I'm not sure if I'm using too much product, honestly. I mean, that's what the instructions said. Not like a super thin layer, because you do want to peel it off all at once. Or at least easily. And maybe I'm putting too much on and in areas I'm not supposed to. But, like, this little jar is only going to be good enough for two uses. Which I think 
I feel like that's good enough for a try me type thing. It's real cooling. Like when you put it on and you go like that, of course, I mean, it's cooling and cold. But yeah, I am loving the color shift on this. That is so cool. I wish I could paint my car like that. Yeah. I think highly reflective surfaces, though, are illegal on vehicles. It makes them hard to see, you know, because I was like, oh, I want a chrome vehicle. Now, you can't make them that shiny. They'll, they'll shut you down because you're just a nuisance on the road. Okay, I'm just going to take a wipe and clean off the brush. Cleans up easily off the brush. And I repeat, it would be much better with a silicone brush, but I'm just not a fan of those. Or if you have one of those silicone sponges. I don't know. It's my wipes. I was like, what smells so good? It's my, my wipes. <laughs> okay, so it said 20 to 30 minutes until it's completely dry. So I am going to start with the 20 to 30 minutes and we'll see what happens after that because um, I did put it on a little thick, probably too thick. We'll see what happens. Right now it's still real flexible. Like I can't stop looking at it. It's neat. Hopefully I didn't get any little hairs in there. And if I did, I'm hoping it's not too painful to release out of that, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments down below, was I supposed to do my whole face like this or just like T-zone? Because it's for hydration. Why would only my T-zone need hydration? But you can also take like this trio set and do the, what is it, the mask mix to where you could do like something here, another type here, and another one around, you know. I think that's the purpose of the trio set, but I got it just to sample to try them out before I buy the big jars for 20 something dollars each and there's like what six of them yeah okay so it's been a little longer than 30 minutes because I made the mistake of making this too thick over here it's still like a little wet and peels off it's kind of gooey still so We'll see. I'll probably have to wipe that off after we peel off everything else, but that's okay. So let's talk. The mask is still flexible. Like I can talk, I can move. I can't really smile because then it will start to peel here. See. That actually feels much better. Um, I did notice the smell stayed real strong the whole time, especially now that I've cracked this a little bit. I can really smell it. It's not pleasant to me. Somebody else might enjoy it, but I didn't care for the scents. See over here, you can see, what is it, baby? It's soft, but it did there's still a sticky mess right there that's my fault this does not hurt peeling off that's pleasant I thought it would hurt a little bit right here because I do have some baby hairs but it's not bad it also does not make that terrifying sound of skin ripping Wow. This is neat though. You can see like all my pores. I just wanted to show you up close this cool color shift it does. I think that's really neat. Yeah, I still have a sticky spot here, so I'm just going to wipe it off with a cloth. Wow, so this really is hydrating, you know, for a peel off mask. It's, I don't feel dried out. I am going to put moisturizer on because you should always do that after you mask. I don't feel dried out. I don't feel irritated. Let's say I don't feel itchy, but then my ear itched. I don't, I don't feel negative effects of any kind. It feels really good. Um, I can still smell it. It's a little better. I don't, I don't care for the smell. That's going to be my only negative drawback. I will definitely be buying a bigger container of this because like I said, that little one, there's only enough for like two uses. 
even though I put it on pretty too thick down in this area why I'm I'm really pleasantly surprised I thought it would hurt honestly you know I, I, I don't like clay mask and I'm not fond of the peel offs because they do hurt but this was really enjoyable the color shift was cool the smell was not so great but that's a personal preference um yeah so if you have it you want it you love it you hate it leave me a comment and let me know um let me know how you do yours if you just do certain areas or if you do the whole thing because i'm curious about that i would just slap everything on all over and then sometimes i regret it later but you know we learn through mistakes okay but yeah I, I don't know what else to say this was this was a good one i i will i will be getting the big container gonna go add it to my ulta cart right now i'm pretty excited yeah okay so until next time bye good job mom don't forget click click like subscribe <laughs>